Hi, my name is Jose and I'm with Watercraft Superstore and in this video we're going to go over how to remove the old traction mats and install a new traction mat set. The traction mat kit that we're going to use is from Blacktip and it's the Blacktip Jetsports Elite Series traction mat set, which is this set here. Uh, they're available on our website at watercraftsuperstore.net. Specifically on this FXHO, the kit comes with some rivets, and the reason we'll need those rivets is we're going to need to remove the corner bumpers and the rear rub rail um, because the rear mat is actually held underneath this rear rub rail here. Our next step is removing the traction mat itself. But in this rear mat section, you notice that we've got a fitting here that we'll need to go ahead and get rid of before we start pulling off the, uh, the mat. And the reason behind that is because this is actually laying over about a quarter of an inch uh, of the section of the mat um, that's on the hull. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and use an adjustable wrench to loosen up that rear section, the, the underneath section of that nut. Um, you need to actually start removing, peeling off the, uh, the sides on that to expose the glue underneath it. And once we've exposed the glue, we'll go ahead and scar it a little bit and pour the adhesive remover on it. And this way, uh, it starts to dissolve away at the adhesive and we can go ahead and wipe that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this section here. Sometimes we'll come across this Having a scraper, whether it's plastic, metal, or one of the um, razor scrapers, um, actually helps us a little bit to kind of separate the mat from the glue itself. So now that we've removed the section of, of mat, um, if you've noticed over here, we still have some spots where the traces of the mat have been left behind. We're gonna wanna go ahead and remove those from there because when we're pouring down the adhesive remover, this section here still prevents the adhesive remover from actually penetrating the glue and helping us loosen that up to remove it. So we're gonna go ahead and fully remove this. So we've prepped the surface uh, enough for us to be able to start using the adhesive remover. And there's a couple of different ways to approach this. Um, one, uh, we can just uh, take a rag and soak it with the adhesive remover and kind of let it sit there for a few minutes. Uh, the other is we can just take the adhesive remover. Uh, in this case, we're using Goof Off that's available at your local hardware store. And we're gonna just lay it over it and then take our scraper and kind of just work it in there a little bit. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just start with the rag at first. Make sure that uh, you're wearing your safety goggles. Uh, this stuff is pretty potent and you might wanna consider wearing some, some gloves as well. The gloves have to be solvent resistant. Um, otherwise, uh, if you use just your standard gloves, they'll actually start to melt away. We'll go ahead and let this soak here for um, about a minute or so. So now that we've let it sit for a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and start scraping the glue off of here. We'll use our metal scraper here in this, uh, in the beginning to see how this one does against the uh, glue with the adhesive on it. Judging from the way the adhesive looks here, it looks like it's, um, the, it's absorbed a lot of the adhesive remover. And you notice how when we're scraping it, it kind of gets a little gummy there. Um, that means that the adhesive remover is actually working into it. Uh, we could make this job a little easier if we put another layer of adhesive remover on it. But just to show you um, the other method, we're gonna come over here to the rag. We've been letting this sit on over the adhesive itself, kind of soaking it up. Notice how 
that's also coming off pretty easily. Our ski is now completely cleaned and prepped to lay down all of our traction mats. So from here on, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna first lay them all out and make sure that they're in the proper place and proper orientation. So let's go ahead and get those uh, out of the packaging. Just to kind of make a note here, we're gonna use the Black Tube Jet Sports Elite Traction Mat Set. And it'll come in the packaging like this. Contents of this is a set of instructions, step-by-step -step guide, and on this specific kit, we've got rivets. Uh, if you recall earlier during the video, we talked about um, some of the bumpers and the rub rails that needed to be removed, and uh, this kit is provided with the rivets in order for you to replace them. Just uh, wanna make a quick um, point here. Uh, you can see these markings here and here those are indicators of proper placement for the previous mats um, from the factory. So we're gonna go ahead and reuse those points to kinda uh, as reference points so that we can place our mats uh, in the appropriate spots. Uh, for skis that don't have these markings, we'll go ahead and use a pencil to lightly mark the areas where we want the mat to actually finally lay. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the rest of these mats out and make sure that the proper placement is in the uh, correct positions. I finished setting up all of the mats in the proper place and, and I've got them in the uh, correct orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this, starting with the swim platform first. Uh, if you noticed here, there's two sets of markings on the hull. If we go with the first set, the mat will fit on there perfectly and will align with the uh, rooster tail hole. However, if we go up to the second set of lines here that are built into the hole, it's gonna push our kit forward too far. And if you notice here, the hole does not line up with the hole that's in, in the, uh, the hull of the ski. And it actually brings this whole section forward so it doesn't actually wrap around the back end of here and it doesn't tuck nicely inside of the rub rail. So let's go ahead and just line those up to the first set of lines here and here and match the hole. And once we've determined that we've got it positioned correctly, we're gonna go ahead and ad start adhering them. We'll go with just a small area first. Peel one side. Notice there's another set of markings here as well. So we can go ahead and put those there. Keeping in mind that as we move, as we stick here and move this way, our hole stays in the same position. So go ahead and stick that down and pull the rest of it. Keeping that hole in place. Once you're happy with the layout of the uh, traction mats, go ahead and apply sufficient pressure to activate the pressure sensitive adhesive that's, that already comes with the traction mat kit. And while we're back here, we'll go ahead and install the Black Tip Jet Sports logo and this oval cutout here. The final thing that we need to do is replace our rub uh, rail and the corner bumper. We're going to go ahead and install those with some brand new rivets. Uh, if you notice, this um, rub rail has a lip at the bottom of it. That bottom is actually going to go downward uh, underneath the uh, lip of the, uh, of the hole here. So let's go ahead and install it now. Well, it looks like we finished putting on our new 
black tip jet sports elite traction mats and they came out looking really really good i uh, just wanted to go ahead and let you know that um, before we take them out and show them off to all of our friends out in the water we want to let them sit for 24 hours and let the adhesive uh, cure we've also done a couple additional um, changes to this ski um, we put in a new black tip jet sports uh, custom seat cover we've also installed a new black tip jet sports decal kit and it just fits perfect. It looks really, really good on this setup. The Black Tip Jet Sports custom seat cover, the decal kit, and the Black Tip Jet Sports Elite Traction Mat Set are all available for purchase on the website at watercraftsuperstore.net. And for more videos like this, visit our Watercraft Superstore YouTube channel. I'm Jose. Thanks for watching.